Two 18-year-olds are in jail tonight in connection with the murder of two teens in National City last year. The FBI became involved after investigators discovered the crimes involved gangs, drugs, and firearms. The CBS 8's David Goffertson reports the suspects in the murders were juveniles at the time of the shooting. The joint investigation uncovered that a group of alleged gang members were working together to commit violent assaults, robberies, traffic drugs, and commit weapons violations. The Violent Crimes Task Force arrested nine suspects Tuesday for alleged ties to a gang in the South Bay, including five adults and four people who were juveniles at the time of the crimes. Two of those juveniles are now age 18, and they are charged in the shooting deaths of 18-year-old Edwin Barrera and 16-year-old Gillian Aguilera outside a Halloween party last year in National City. Fernando Lopez, who is now 18 but was 17 at the time, and Alberto Romero Ramirez, who is now 18 but was 17 a few months ago at the time of the murders, were charged in juvenile court. The DA's office wants the two suspects tried as adults, and they will make a motion to move the cases to superior court. Outside of this Halloween party, emerging criminal street gang members began hunting down what they considered to be rivals. And in order to do that and to really make a name for themselves, they were going to commit murder. Earlier this month, the mother of that 16-year-old victim said her daughter was an innocent bystander. She also lost her other daughter, 19-year-old Janessa DeValle, to gun violence in 2020. My life has been pretty much destroyed and I have been picking up the pieces. The FBI says the five adult suspects were found with guns, 18 pounds of methamphetamine and fentanyl. The same gang may be involved in a still unsolved shooting from February, where two young men were wounded near a taco shop on East Plaza Boulevard. This is a sketch of the gunman in that attack and surveillance video captured a gray sedan leaving the scene. We're still asking for the public's help in the attempted homicide that occurred earlier this year. The two 18-year-olds arrested in that double murder are being held at Juvenile Hall. One of them appeared in court yesterday. The other one has a hearing set for July 7th. In Linda Vista, David Goffertson, CBS 8.